The Overkill Nano modification provides the highest BTU output to weight ratio of any stove on the market. It's a rocket stove that is pre-fueled with a Swedish fire torch. With a traditional rocket stove, the combustion takes place at the bottom of the stove. With a Swedish fire torch fueled rocket stove, the combustion starts at the bottom but accelerates the whole way up. To achieve a lower cooking temperature, I'll start with a smaller Swedish fire torch, allow that to burn down to hot coals, then insert one or two sticks in either the top or bottom feed ports to achieve whatever temperature I'm looking for. It actually modifies the Nano to have two piece legs. The stock Nano has one piece legs, so if you turn the bottom feet, the top pot stand turns as well. They cannot be removed without cutting them. On the end of the leg, as you separate it, there's a tiny little bend. That goes in and just puts a little bit of a bind in that hinge curl, and it allows that to put a little tension on there so they're not sliding and falling. There we have two separate nano stoves. Now, if I go ahead and take these legs back out, and I'll take the pot stand out of this side. I found that this does work better if you close the nano and then remove the pins. I use the coupler pins and I insert these into the bottom nano. Coupler pins are not bent on the ends. I wanted the assembly process to be as easy as possible. So I actually leave it closed and then I go ahead and work the two nanos together and then slide that together. Now here you have a choice. You can actually tuck this fire grate behind the top nano, okay, and that will hold that fire grate in that open position. You can go ahead and leave that fire grate in its regular position put it together. If you have your fire grate down, your fuel going into it, these sticks are actually cut off at five inches. The five inch firebox allows you to do four and a half inch sticks. So this is even taller than the five inch firebox uh, when it is in this overkill configuration. This stove drives the BTU power like you cannot believe. Let me show you these. Look at that great big stick. This is a six and a half inch stick. So if you really need some extra power, you can actually put your fire grate up, okay? And then you can fuel this thing with six and a half inch sticks because you can go all the way down to the floor of the X case. Six and a half inch long fuel in the firebox nano and these are big sticks and so these are gonna really last a long time you're gonna have incredible duration there's a couple of ways that you can hold this up and out of your way and one of them is with the supplied nano sticks okay now I think I use the shorter nano stick for this but you can easily slide this through the right hand side hole of the fire grate and then put it over on the side. I wanted to show you this other method of holding your fire grate up. So you put your fire grate up and then you slide this flame guard behind your fire grate and then you put the two front tabs on the front of your nano Then you slide that down. The two-piece legs allow the pot stand and the feet to operate independent of each other. So you can turn the pot stands inward for a smaller cup or a smaller pot, or you can have them outward for something like a frying pan. Now one thing I have had people ask me about is the stability with the overkill modification. I happen to have a 10-inch frying pan. I'll go ahead and open it up. And this one actually has the cutting board in it. This is a prototype cutting board. We're expecting to have these 
any day. I don't know what's taking them so long. But you can see it's a perfect fit in the pie tin. The cutting board can either go in the pie tin or it can go under the pie tin. I'm just gonna leave all of the fry pan kit together to show you the stability of this. But that's a 10 inch frying pan on a three inch stove. So like I say, it's not really a three inch stove. See, if you measure the span between these feet when they're actually uh, in their out position, that's actually four and a half inches. So as far as its footprint, and as far as its stability, it's a four and a half inch stove. So this is really a unique stove. So I'm measuring five inches there. I'm measuring four and a half inches there. And even in the four and a half inch stove category, none of the stoves are this tall. If you already have two nanos and you bought them from me last year or whenever, and you want to modify these into an overkill nano, you don't have to order anything from me. You can do it all yourself, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So you'll slide the legs all the way down until the pot stand is touching. Okay, that's going to tell you exactly where you need to cut the leg. You cut the leg right at the base of the body of the nano. You could use a hacksaw blade right there. You want it to be as small of a cut as possible because you don't want to lose a lot of material. You, you want these legs to be as long as they can be. So you cut that right there on all four legs. The other nano, the second nano, you cut just this pot stand arm off. So I would cut straight up. So what you end up with is one long leg that's removable from one nano and then with the other nano, you get this, you get two pieces, you get this upper pot stand arm, and then you get a short leg. You get a short leg from the piece that you cut off, and that's what this looks like. You can put a little bit of a bend on this part, and the way I do that is with a pair of vice grips. I mean, we do it differently with uh, the machines and robotics, but at home, and how I did the prototypes, was with a pair of vice grips. You go in about a quarter of an inch, and then I would support this against something sturdy, a rock, an anvil, a, uh, a vice, and then just give it a gentle tap right there. That does not take much. I would do it gently and then work your way up. And I don't have something solid to hit against, so I can't show you. But if I normally I have my clamp, I set this there to support the actual bottom of the vice grips. And then give that a gentle tap just right here behind the vice grips and that puts just a little teeny kink in the end of that leg and that'll help that leg stay in place. So what you end up with is you still have two functioning stoves. Now this is on the DIY kit. I want people to, to, to uh, realize I'm talking about two different methods of making the overkill modification. So this way you still have two operable stoves this one, you just open it up and set it up. It does not have adjustable arms anymore. That is kind of the, uh, you know, there's pros and cons to doing things um, different ways. And that's the con to this. You don't have the arms, so you can't hold a smaller cup with that stove. Now with your other stove, you will still have the arms and you will have the legs. Now that leg, those short legs slide in here and as long as you have that little kink in them then they won't fall out as easily then you have two functioning separate stoves there is one thing I wanted to show you is how to fit the overkill nano in your case because it will only fit one very specific way so this is the one that has the separate pins for coupling the two nanos together 
So you'll want to slide those out, okay? And then you have two parts. You have the upper part and you have the bottom part. Go ahead and fold up the bottom part. Now you can either assemble the bottom part into a complete stove and set that into place or you can put it in here just like that. Either way it fits fine. Now it's this second stove. You cannot assemble the legs onto that and have it fit in here. It fits in a very specific way and that is with these tabs. You have two tabs here. They need to be right up at the top. Just like that. And what that does is that lines those tabs up with this groove in the X case. Then when you close that, locks that position where it's at so it doesn't, doesn't shake around. Everything's held in there tightly. And then you have space down here, which is where you keep the legs. In this bag, I have a set of coupler pins and legs. The Overkill Nano Modification. Three stoves in one, 